I'm Adam Anshell for Pro Football Weekly with some draft news presented by Verizon Fios. I'm joined by our draft expert, Nolan Naraki. We've got some new information regarding Clemson defensive end Daquan Bowers. Nolan, tell us what you're hearing. Well, Adam, I spoke with a number of teams who have reviewed the results from the combine recheck, and his knee is considered a legitimate concern. Doctors consider it to be a degenerative condition, and it could prevent him from playing out his rookie contract. Team doctors deemed his knee surgery to be a type of microfracture procedure, which is a bright red flag. I think anytime you hear that word microfracture, it's certainly a scary proposition. So given this new information, what does it do to Bauer's draft projection? Well, Adam, it only takes one team to take him highly. He's receiving more interest right now, primarily because teams are trying to determine the prognosis of his knee. The surgery could easily push him out of the top 10, maybe into the teens, early 20s. I've talked to some teams who even have him off their draft boards completely, so there's a chance he could easily slide. It's hard to believe considering he was number one in your one of your mocks, he was number one on the big board overall, and now slipping that far. We know that Bowers is still working out for teams. He's going through some individual workouts, teams taking a good look. What are you hearing from those teams? I think they're trying to really determine just how serious it is. There's a chance he could even be taken in the second round, so I think the teams at the beginning of the first are really trying to do their homework and just be prepared if he is there early in the second round. I mean, we've seen it with other players too. You said Marcus McNeil had a similar situation. Yeah, Marcus McNeil had stenosis coming out of college. There have been other players that have been off draft boards. Sebastian Vollmer from the, the Patriots as well. They've still been drafted early, so and they've gone on to be, become good pros as well. So I think there's a chance, even if he slides in the draft, that he can still become a good NFL player. Such a tough proposition for teams. You don't want to be the team that passes on him, have him turn into a pro bowler, or the team that takes him early and then has that knee fail. You're stuck for a long time. We appreciate it. Nolan, only time will tell. We'll find out with Bowers. For the best draft information, be sure to follow us on Twitter, or you can pick up PFW's draft preview book, available at profootballweekly.com.